So it is Saturday and I have some work to do. It is my weekend off from work, but unfortunately you gotta put the time in to be able to make some money and grow a business. So I have a design today that I am doing for someone. It is a bulldog, which was my high school mascot. This is actually gonna be used to display at a graduation party. I had to kind of customize the original design to make it so both legs were the same length. But I'll show you guys that as I'm going. To make it stand up, I purchased this leg bracket from Amazon to hopefully double-sided stick on the back of it, and then it should stand up. Not really sure how well it's gonna work. Um, it was only eight bucks for 12 brackets. I can buy them on Ally Express for significantly cheaper. I wanna make sure they work first for the designs that I'm doing. So, let's jump into the cutting. So the first color I'm cutting is going to be the frost, it's going to be the background, so it kind of gives it a little pop. Since I don't have to mask it, because it's not being stuck to anything, I'm just going to throw it in just like this. So I got the first cut through. I'm gonna test to make sure it stands first before I go any further, and I think it should. I mean, these legs are pretty level, and that was the issue before, was this one was shorter, so it would rock forward. But I think like this, it's gonna stand pretty good. So we'll test that next. I got my roll of double-sided stick. I have a second set of brackets that I'm using. This one actually has a hanger to be able to hang on the wall, which will make it kind of cool. But I'm going to apply the double-sided stick to this and then test to see if it stands up. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Looking for something just to hold it up. Not anything crazy. The legs are even. If they want to just mount it to the wall when they're done, they can either leave that bracket on or use some command strips. Honestly, I'm happy. Now I'm going to start cutting the other stuff. I already have a sheet of gray masked off, so I'm going to throw this one in first, then I'm going to start to mask my black and some of my other colors. Time for the gray to go in. Alright guys, while the other one's cut, I am going to mask off the black. Obviously this needs to be able to stick to the frost. Okay. The gray is done. I'm gonna start stripping the pieces out, laying them out, and then I'll throw the black in. So the black is now done. That's a long cut. It takes about 25-30 minutes. So I'm gonna peel this stuff out, and then I have the red and the white to cut. But I'm at least gonna get going on start to clean this stuff up so I can start putting it together. I like to use the scraps from other previous cuts for the small things that I don't need a full sheet for. But I got a whole bunch going to be down here under the desk of random white, red, um, some of them have the adhesive already on the back so I don't have to mess with it, but I'm going to use that for the red and white that I need. For this instance, I do not have any white acrylic with adhesive on the back, so I do have a 6 inch roll that I'm able to just tape off whatever I need, trim the edges, and then I'm good. I'll probably use a full red sheet and mask that off just so I have it because I have no red at all that's in pieces. All right guys, so I'm peeling the backing off or the covering so that I can start assembling the uh, bulldog. Cut the white. I'm going to mask a sheet of red just so I have a large sheet. And then, you guys will see the finished product. All right, everything is cut out and it is all put together. Now I'm gonna show you guys me peeling off the wrapping, the covering to present the final project. So that is it. Um, this did take significantly longer. Typical time frame for doing one of these with me and Shelby. We can do about three in an hour and a half, but because I'm the only one doing it, you gotta mask it, you gotta lay it down. Um, it's kind of pain in the butt. I mean, look at that. That comes out pretty dang cool. Um, that's the back side. It's frosted over. This is probably one of my favorite designs we've done so far. Um, we sell these for $60 a piece. 
that covers acrylic obviously and any uh, time that we have to put into it. Uh, this is actually our most popular one we've done so far as well. We've sold probably six of them. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm going to put the stand on the back and we will see you guys hopefully more consistently over the next couple weeks. We are starting to bust through some work. It is currently February 26th. We have since January 1st made around $1,500, which is awesome. I mean, that's already going towards this machine and we're able to buy our rotary mix. Um, we set up our LLC. We have a Facebook shop for signs like these and some of our college signs we've done. And then probably this week, we are going to set up our Etsy. We're still waiting on the paperwork for our LLC. And once that's here, then we'll be able to transfer it all to the EIN. Guys, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button and hit the post notification down in the corner. And we will uh, we'll see you soon.